The biggest issue I've had in the rehab has been how do I ride a bike and how do I carry my weapon without compromising on either the weapon or drastically altering what I wear. That's the question that I have set out to answer. And that's the question I'm gonna to try to answer right now. The problem is multi on carrying a gun with when riding a bike. In South Carolina, there is no provision for open carry, so the gun has to stay hidden. Some of these deep cover options like uh, a Maxpedition bag where you've got to maneuver the bag around and everything, to me, that's slow. Not something I'd necessarily want to do. So I, I narrowed it down to three choices. A uh, belly band holster, a one of those compression shirt under tech holsters that fit on the body, and then something else I made out of some bike messenger stuff. All right, so most of you know that I've taken up bike riding to, as part of my recovery. And I would suggest that for anybody, especially my age, because it's a low impact exercise. It has helped me, my, my weight loss has accelerated. I feel much better. And the bike riding is actually quite enjoyable as far as a cardiovascular exercise. So I would recommend that. But if, now if you are, if you're in the Greenville area, for example, and you're looking to get into a bike, I would recommend going to Lucky Bikes. It's off a of Poinsett Highway. You can find them online at Lucky Bikes. I believe the name of the street they're on is Sydney. Off a of Poinsett Highway. It's very near the uh, Duke's Sandwich Shop. And there, Kip will set you up with a rebuilt bike like mine, which mine is a rebuilt bike. A rebuilt, I think it's 22 years old. I think it's like a, a Schwinn. It is a Schwinn. But it's got some newer components on it much easier to ride much more enjoyable to ride not nearly as much that uh, you know doesn't cost as much and it's a good ride very durable bike now my problem was as much as i advocate carrying a gun and this is the smallest gun i carry my agency arms glock 19 that's as small as i own right now this is the smallest gun i can carry currently I wanted to be able to carry a gun riding a bike, but this set up its own little special set of problems. Now, the first thing that I could consider using um, that didn't, the, the problem is that if you're gonna ride a bike, you don't wanna ride wearing a belt, okay? Not like you would to keep your pants up, definitely not like you would to keep a gun on you, you, you know, a nice strong belt. So you need to find an alternative to that. So my first thing was the tried and true venerable belly band. Now although I have found this, now that I've lost some weight, this is actually a very good solution in any kind of clothing. And it's more comfortable than any of the other inside the waistband holsters that I use. The problem is carrying spare magazines on this one, and I believe this is a Galco. Yeah, this is a Galco. Spare magazines are in the base of my spine. Not very good for riding around. Definitely not good for anything else. However, I can run around town in gym clothes with this, and this is a very good solution. Still using this, just not to ride a bike. Then, my guy JT, Raven in the chat room, he came up with this. Uh, we were discussing the Undertech concealment shirts. Now, these work really well, except they're better worn under a button-up shirt, I have found. Under a polo shirt or under a t-shirt. The problem with riding a bike is that when you're riding a bike, you're going to create your own wind around you. It's, you know, a slower version of a motorcycle. So you've got, your clothing is buffeting all around you. So this is still a very good alternative for all manner of things. All manner of things. It, like the belly band I use, I just don't use it to ride a bike. But this, you know, trying those two things initially, um, not getting me anywhere. 
in the run up to bike riding and as I have gotten into bike riding I've looked at what bike messengers do because a bike messenger is basically their office is their bike and so they carry everything they are going to use in the course of an eight or nine or ten hour day on them they wear a messenger bag or a backpack and a lot of these guys have stuff festooned all over the messenger bag strap but some of these guys also wear a waist bag on a separate belt and I looked at that and I was thinking maybe not a bad idea but the problem with that is there's only three companies that make them two of them Roadrunner and Chrome Industries didn't have any in stock but I did find one that was in stock Al Jakarta Indonesia life behind bars this is a uh, this is a, the bag is designed to carry their U bolt their U lock and some tools and whatever else they got to carry with it. They can hook their keys to it and everything else. I took it and Frankensteined it up, and I'm going to try to get it close enough for you to see. Which I can't, not this way. We'll we'll get some we'll get some other shots and get all over that. But um, this has loop velcro inside of it, and it has a G code OSH holster stuck to the loop velcro, so you have a hard shell holster. And it also has a Maxpedition gear velcro loop that's in there that will hold my magazines. Then I took and repurposed a U.S. grunt gear cobra, belcle, uh, cobra buckle belt, which is a very stiff belt. And I went ahead and put a phone bag on it, so that way my phone is not in there with a gun, breaking my phone, you know, phones are pretty expensive. My wallet doesn't break, but that will. And I got this, I'm using this belt because this belt is adjustable, so as I hopefully thin down some more, I'll be able to adjust this, but what this essentially is, and I need to get some other shots of it for you, but this is essentially a gun belt. It's a flap holster. It works out to being that way because the holster is, I'm going to quit trying to show it to you. I'll get some shots here very shortly. The holster is, uh, or the bag, uh, is effectively a big flap holster on a belt it can't come off of me it's not going to come off of me and the reason I'm using bike messenger stuff and this is by like I said life behind bars um, is because this is built to the same exacting standards as the tactical nylon that we see on chest rigs and plate carriers and everything else so this works fine and I didn't want it to look tactical so you know I'm out there riding bikes and uh, I'm, I'm out there with a bunch of people that don't expect to see a gun. So, I give them this. This is not that expensive to, to have it this way either. The Probably the U.S. Grunt Gear belt is, uh, I'd have to look at the price on this. This is $35. And this, the Timbuktu phone bag, is $20. So, it's not that expensive of a rig. The Undertech shirt by itself is $60. So... This is my solution. And when I'm out, as long as I'm with my bike, there's no reason I can't wear this all the time. So this works. This is secured to my body. So this isn't even really, as far as I'm concerned, since it's got a holster in it and it's on me. It's sort of off body and then again, it's sort of on body. So that's my solution. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll try to have links in the uh, description down below where you can find these items. Coming up next, we're going to go out and do a thorough review on the Glock 19 from Agency Arms. And then, as it has been redressed, we're going to go out and re-review the Glock 17 by Agency Arms with the RMR on it. Because this is a better way to, to acquire a sight with older eyes. As usual, you can find the show on iTunes, on Stitcher Radio at GCNlive.com, lockandloadradio.com, 
and ammoland.com to get a hold of it on a, at a radio station near you. You can go to uh, GCN Live and contact one Adam Miller. He is, he is the magician that gets them in the radio stations. I'd love to be near you. Everybody stay safe. It's never been about gun control. It's always been. It's always going to be about total control. Later.